What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to the next part in my series trying to find the perfect replacement to my Audi A1, the Nuke. Last week I tested the 2016 facelifted Audi S3 and also talked about the RS3 and kind of ruled it out because it was a natural progression in the sort of daily driver sequence. Having started this series at Porsche Colchester testing the pinnacle of daily sports cars, the Porsche 911 Carrera 2S, I was invited back to Porsche Colchester to pick up a car that was slightly closer towards my budget and a family within the Porsche brand that I am very, very fond of. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 2016 Porsche Cayman 718S. We have come a long way from my first supercar when I was adamant that I didn't want to test the Porsche Boxster at Premier Velocity. Now I really want to get behind the wheel of this car and experience it and then start talking about some of the pre-owned Caymans that are available, both the normal Cayman and the Cayman S. Now this being the Cayman 718S, it is slightly different to some of the pre-owned ones that you'll see on Auto Trader. This is the first turbocharged four-cylinder Cayman ever to exist, and a lot of people have been complaining about the sound. So I'm going to put that to the test. This car is equipped with sports exhaust, so today we're going to find out whether this car is the perfect replacement to the Audi A1. Okay, so where where do we begin with the Porsche Cayman um, within the daily daily driver realms? First of all, it's two seats. Is that an issue? We're about to find out. I did like the fact that the Audi S3 had four doors and four seats and had ease of access to the rear seats when I'm ferrying friends around or whether I'm going on road trips with more than one person. So I suppose let's just find out how easy is it to drive? How easy is it to adapt? Being a sort of unfamiliar car, I've only driven the Porsche 911 Carrera 2S. These. Ooh, where do we go? Let's go this way. Now, because this car has got two seats, um, I'm using the other seat at the moment as a bit of a camera bag. I've got my Ulfi camera here, which I'm hoping to use to get some external angles. I've also got my big camera to film the intro, the outro, and some specific bits on the interior. The way that the Cayman is set up, and now obviously with this new engine, is 350 brake horsepower, is kind of all you need on the UK roads. It is the top end of the amount of power that you need to be able to fly flat out everywhere. Obviously as safely as possible. But anything over 350 brake horsepower in a car this size is probably too quick for the road. So we are gonna be testing those capabilities once we get out onto some more clearer roads. At the moment, there are a lot of blind corners, so I'm just cruising down and it's all single track, and here comes a BMW. Um, so I'm gonna to have to go up here. That's back. And boot it. So does the new 718 turbocharged car sound good? It does, but does it sound as good as the old Cayman? Probably not, but does the 488 sound as good as the 458? Probably not. So if you are wanting to go into the turbocharged cars, which you get better performance, better fuel efficiency, and fundamentally a better car, you're gonna have to look at the sports exhaust or even an aftermarket exhaust system. But from the outside and the inside, the new Porsche Cayman has definitely got some epic features around it. The reason why I started at the back is because it is my favorite part of the car. We have got awesome detailed tail lights, and then this line just runs the whole way across the back of the car, making it even more aggressive. Obviously with the new facelifted front bumper and headlights this car definitely looks the part and looks like a proper sports car and overall uh, it is a beautifully specced car inside it makes you feel special like the Carrera it is incredibly well put together we've got the drive select here with the drive sport sport plus an individual like before and there's a button in the middle yep
but let's start stop off but the one thing that is grinding on me in the back of my head is it is a Porsche and I feel like Porsches are supposed to be special cars and I'd be I think I'd just be too nervous about taking it anywhere where there's a car park because of people opening doors onto it and just damaging it and coming back and seeing there's a scrape down the paint or just that OCD factor of my love of cars and obviously how much I appreciate the cars that I own and how much I want to look after them. But this isn't my car. So this is the time that I need to put things to the test and whether I can overcome this fear. Over two years since I have driven on YouTube into this car park in a car the last time I did it was in my Audi R8 filming the living with a supercar oh, I don't know if the GoPro's gonna hit the barrier <laughs> and uh, yeah let's see how good this car is as a shopping trolley, don't curb a wheel. It's not my car, but I still have to pay for it. Okay, we're in. Oh, it feels a bit tight. And this car's small. Oh, this is genuinely a bad idea. I bet it doesn't look tight on camera, but where I'm sitting, my point of view, not really being able to see. I fly around these corners in my A1, I treat it as a racetrack. Every single hairpin, I treat it as I could go around it as fast as possible. Okay, it's opening up a little bit now. But this is exactly what I kind of don't want in a daily. I want to be able to pop to the shops, and not have to worry about, am I gonna curb a wheel? Because if I am, can I afford to get it refurbished? <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. My palms are sweating. Come on. And I'm pretty sure this car's doing it all in second gear at seven miles an hour. <laughs> what? I think I'm gonna struggle to find upper levels this is what I didn't want to happen look at all those scrapes on the wall of where people have hit I'm gonna turn in now oh my god oh I've nailed it that was good that one So I'm parking as far away from the shopping centre as possible. In my Audi, I could tuck it into any space. I think it's fair to say that the boot in the front of the car is plenty of space. I would say for a road trip for two people. You couldn't fit suitcases, but you could easily fit the sort of squishy bags. You could fit two of them in the front. Okay, so as first experiences go, the Porsche Cayman, the 718S, is a fun car to drive, to cruise around town, and fundamentally, it's a very, very good car to drive. But is it a perfect daily for what I need? Probably not. So again, we kind of go back to square one, or do we? Because I've worked out that two seats aren't good and I need more boot space, which is what the S3 had. So maybe I need to look more at the likes of the Audi S3. Now I've got this car for four days and I'm gonna be putting a lot of miles on the car. So I do want to film a lot more 
So please put a comment in the comment box below on what you want to see from the 718 Cayman S, whether that be the fuel efficiency, whether you want to see it just get hooned around country roads. I can hopefully do that without crashing. Um, but whatever it is that you want to see from this car, I've got it for another four days, another four days. So leave a comment in the comment box below on what you want to see from this car, what questions you want answered on the brand new turbocharged Cayman. And that is it. That is the end of this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun exploring this car with you guys and again trying to work out where like to turn the parking sensors off, how to turn there, start, stop and all of that sort of stuff. I definitely want a car that is unfamiliar to me that I can explore and learn with you guys and we can go on this journey together. So having said all of that, over the next four days I'm really going to learn more about this car and I will be shooting one more video on this car and I'm going to be shooting some more footage of this car which is going to go in another video if that makes sense but please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and let me know what you want to see next on my hunt for the replacement to the nuke thank you for watching guys and subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot of awesome stuff coming very soon the yas marina m3 in my rear view mirror just caught my eye <laughs> i will see you soon guys thank you for watching cheers